Hello everybody. So I have been working with F5 products of late uh, and I'm pretty excited to share my experience uh, and the concepts that I have learned so far with you. So what I am going to do is that I'm going to create uh, a series on F5 uh, Big IP LTM. Uh, and uh, this lecture is obviously going to be the first lecture of the series um, so it's an introductory lecture of the series so let's uh, get started before we study anything about f5 um, it's, it's good to have a background of the company that how it started when it started uh, and what products uh, does it offer so F5 Networks was actually established back in 1996. It's an American company that specializes in application delivery networking, application performance, multi-cloud management, security, uh, access and authorization, and online fraud prevention. So F5 actually launched their first product uh, in 1997, which they called Big IP. So it was actually a load balancer. Uh, a load balancer is essentially an application delivery controller. Why did they call it Big IP? Uh, we will see that uh, shortly. So it's headquartered in Seattle, Washington uh, with its offices worldwide. So it has got worldwide presence now. Uh, so uh, obviously it's a, it's a multinational company. So it's an international vendor of very, very popular brand for application delivery controllers. Uh, initially, it offered application delivery controllers, which are essentially load balancers, but then it expanded into a variety of other uh, application layer and automation, multi-cloud and security services. Uh, by the way, if you uh, talk to an employee at F5 and if you tell them that uh, this company offers load balancing services only or it offers load balancers, they would be really annoyed because they don't want to term themselves as only load balancer application delivery controllers company. So because they say that they provide a lot more than that and which is true. So because they have uh, actually expanded the business into other domains as well like cloud and uh, application performance and other security services. So but I mean uh, obviously because they started as a load balancer and this is what they're very famous for. So that's why people term F5 as F5 load balancers. Okay, so what exactly is an application delivery controller? So an application delivery controller is essentially a load balancer that offers uh, several services such as load balancing, SSL termination, offloading, caching, uh, interior detection, security, application performance optimization um, and a lot more so it it not only offers basic load balancing but it offers a lot more services as well um, the primary objective that uh, these adcs or load balances are used for uh, they're used for purposes in a network when we have uh, thousands of requests uh, coming uh, on our servers at the same time and we want to optimize that so we use different load balancing techniques uh, uh, and we, we divert or distribute the traffic accordingly in order to have an optimized performance. Uh, the important thing to note that is that the application delivery control is a device that works from layer 4 up to layer 7. So um, it, starts work, uh, it, it starts at layer 4 which is the TCP layer uh, and then uh, TCP IP layer and then it, it goes up to layer 7 which is the application layer so it, it can do a lot of powerful things uh, that uh, other devices uh, may not be able to do like routers or switches because they don't work on those layers typically uh, it's placed in a data center between a firewall and application servers so it acts as a reverse proxy uh, in the network for those servers so for example in our diagram here we have requests coming from the internet so obviously we have the firewall on the edge of the network so that would would do all the filtering uh, what traffic is allowed what traffic is not allowed 
so once the traffic comes into the network and they have to go and hit the application servers or database servers or whatever services we're running at the back end so we make the traffic go through the load balancer so the f5 load balancer what it will do is it will uh, use load balancing techniques that we will discuss later in the series it will use those techniques to distribute traffic uh, to these servers in such an optimized fashion that they don't get overloaded and the app and the performance is is uh, absolutely optimized uh, it does a uh, destination NAT uh, on the load balancer so uh, we will see the, those things uh, in upcoming lectures so for now i would just say that it um, does a load balancing uh, for these servers at the back end so that the performance is um, top notch uh, and completely optimized for our applications okay let's have a look at um, the f5 big ip modules uh, so it offers uh, a lot of modules um, so the first one uh, being the big IP LTM, which is called the local traffic manager. So this is actually used for local load balancing within a network, uh, which uh, offers caching, compression, TCP acceleration. So it's, a, it's based on a full proxy architecture. Uh, this big IP LTM is also the same product that we are going to discuss in this series. So um, we will see that where does it fall in uh, in the certification path uh, uh, in the f5 uh, domain so the next one is the big ip dns which was formerly known as the global traffic manager so uh, it's actually an intelligent uh, global uh, site load balancing uh, that distributes dns and application requests based on user network um, and cloud performance conditions so the next we have is the big IP AFM, which is the advanced firewall manager. So this advanced firewall manager is primarily used for DDoS protection. So it can uh, be used uh, as a data center firewall solution. So that helps in mitigating DDoS attacks. Uh, then we have uh, the application security manager. So this is uh, a very uh, advanced uh, and a very um, important product that f5 has so this offers the waf services which is the web application firewall so the web application firewall is basically um, used to block uh, the unwanted requests from the internet so uh, it actually uh, offers uh, secure web applications and uh, it helps uh, app secure applications against unknown vulnerabilities and enables uh, compliance for key um, regulatory mandates so the next product that we have is the application sorry the access uh, policy manager so the access policy manager is used for providing access control and authentication for http and https applications um, then we have something called AAM, which is the application uh, acceleration manager. So uh, this uh, is actually used for intelligent caching and compression to improve the application user experience. Um, so it, it works in conjunction with uh, uh, the big IP LTM and the big IP uh, ASM. Then there's something called Big IQ. Uh, the Big IQ is actually a centralized access for all your F5 devices uh, in, within your network. So it's a single end-to-end -end solution for analyzing the health, performance, and availability of your F5 uh, devices uh, in your data center. Uh, now, uh, we discussed in the last slide that why is it called Big IP? So the big portion is more of an acknowledgement of the fact that the device presents a virtual IP on behalf of many devices that are behind it. Uh, so making the IP bigger than the normal IP address. Now, what is a virtual IP? A virtual IP is actually used as a proxy IP that is configured on the F5, uh, which we will discuss uh, in the upcoming lectures. How do we do it and how does it work? Uh, the devices behind the virtual IP would obviously be the backend servers, uh, which have their own private IPs. So the virtual IP gets mapped to those servers 
uh, at the back end uh, we will discuss these things uh, in the upcoming lectures so but the the whole concept of the big ip is that because they consider that virtual ip as the big portion of the ip that is masking those ips at the back end so that's why it's called the big ip so i would like to end this introductory lecture uh, with the certification part program for f5 networks so like any other vendor um, such as cisco or juniper or huawei microsoft so they have also got different levels of certifications uh, starting from the administrative administrative level to the professional level and then from professional to specialist and then to the expert level so let's start with the adc fundamentals at the left hand side this exam 101 is the basic exam for f5 networks so anybody who wants to uh, start the f5 certification program uh, he needs to start with the adc fundamentals that is the prereq for all these uh, levels that f5 networks offer once you are with 101 then you can take the 201 uh, big ip tmos exam so that makes you the certified administrator for F5 networks. And uh, if you want to go to the sales side of uh, the product, so that is 202. So you can take that and you can uh, become a sales uh, certified technical professional for F5 networks. Um, however, if you want to stay to the technical side and you are done with 101 and 201, then uh, you become the certified administrator which i would say is equivalent to uh, ccna uh, in cisco so it's the administrator uh, level certification um, then you jump on to the specialist certifications uh, which offers all those modules that we've discussed earlier so 301 is for big ip ltm 302 for big ip dns uh, that is the gtm then 303 is for big ip asm and 304 is for big ip apm which is the access policy manager um, now uh, it's important to note that 301 big ip ltm this comprises two exams is uh, exam a and exam b so in order to become a certified technical specialist for big ip ltm you need to pass both exams and obviously exam a is the P, uh, is the first exam so that becomes the prereq for exam b for 301 certification um, once you have passed that you can take other exams as well like big ip dns gtm and big ip application security manager that's for the waf um, and as well but if you want to jump on to the expert level certifications uh, so the expert level certifications you need to have uh, com you need to complete all the prereqs before before taking these exams so like the security one 401 this requires all these four exams to be passed uh, before you attempt 401 the expert exam for f5 security obviously uh, so because you have to pass all these four certified technical specialist exams in order to pass these you must be certified uh, in big ip 101 and big ip 201 so that means the 401 security exam would require all these four and the certified administrator as the prerequisite for uh, taking this exam the security 401 similarly for uh, 402 you need some UX. so the 402 which is the cloud exam for uh, certified solutions expert you don't need all four uh, as prex but you need to pass big ip ltm both exams and big ip dns you need to pass these two in order to take the cloud exam 402 so uh, it's it's uh, a very well organized certification path that f5 offers uh, and they are very uh, much sought after certifications in the market for enterprise networks and data center environments so i would i would highly urge uh, and i would recommend uh, you to take these exams if you can um, the exams are i won't say they're too difficult they are a bit tricky uh, especially the advanced exams uh, 
but they are absolutely worth it uh, if you ask them so um yeah this brings us to the end of this introductory lecture um uh, in the next lecture i would i would discuss some of the uh, f5 terminologies and uh, some f5 basic concepts like nodes pools uh, and probably virtual ips as well so um i hope this has been informative for you uh, and um, i would like like to thank you for your time uh, and for doing this introductory session thanks see you next time